The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored by Dogtopia. Play the dog. <laughs> All right, we all need to get out and be active to stay healthy, and that includes our four-legged family members. And here to give us some tips on how to keep our dogs healthy and active is David Duran from the Dogtopia Tempe. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Excited because you brought another. Listen, you, you bring dogs into me, and I'm just like I I'm, I'm melting. So this is little Patrick. He's here. I He's love here. Our, uh, our model dog here for the day. Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about, of course, our dogs being active and how important, Absolutely. especially at this time, we're starting to see the weather change a little bit. Yeah, so obviously I'm from Dogtopia of Tempe, so uh, our first option is going to be doggy daycare. That's kind of what we're all about. All of our dogs are coming to daycare consistently um, on a routinely basis every week. And we really believe that, you know, that routine daycare and socialization is so important for the dogs. It really gets them tired out. And just being around other dogs and being active is a good thing. But yeah. obviously, if you can't do daycare or if daycare is only a part-time thing for you, there's so many other options of keeping your dog entertained at home. Yeah. So, David, I want to mention about the daycare. This, again, is very important. And that is if you have that dog, yeah, well, my dog doesn't get along with other dogs. You've never had them with other dogs like they do at Dogtopia. And I think that's what's important. So then when you do get out in public with them, they act much better. Right, exactly. They know how to socialize and they know how to take uh, cues from other dogs and stuff when they're out in, in public. Yeah, so, okay, like you said, okay, we can't get out there to Dogtopia always. Right. Maybe our schedules or something like that. How can we make sure our dogs are active? So we've got some interactive toys here. Um, these are all toys that I found online for under $20. So there's no brand specific thing here. These are, there's so many variations of these toys online at different price points. Yeah. But we have this, uh, this is actually really great for dogs that like to chase balls. Uh -huh. It's an interactive ball that will just go on the floor by its own. Oh. And you can actually put a tennis ball skin on it for those dogs that are obsessed with tennis balls. Yeah. Uh, and then we also have this guy here where you can put the treats inside. Okay, I'm gonna show that to the camera yeah, so you can see sure. this, is, this is important. So here, and then you said the treats go in. And then the doggies will spend their time trying to open these up. And it'll get them pretty tired out, that stimulation of just trying to find the treats. And does this move around? Is that what happens? It when does, yeah. There's so. there's different things that they can move around and lift and, and slide and over. Slide right. oh, exactly. Wow. But this one's okay. our favorite one. Okay. This one's what we call our snuffle mat. <laughs> and this is what keeps Patrick entertained for a little bit. And he usually naps out right after because he's digging in there for his little treats. Oh, my goodness. And so as he's, as, look at and that's really neat because that's what dogs go out in the backyard yep. and do. They, they They're sniff sniffers. Around. Yeah, so they like amazing. to sniff around. And, and honestly, that's how they get a lot of their energy out is just exploring and, and using their yeah. nose. Yeah. So this is a great way to keep them entertained at home. Yeah. If you're on a call or if you're busy, this will entertain them for about 30 minutes or so until he finds all the treats. I, like I also want to mention the, uh, the um, setup you have. And I, I forget what's called. Mine's called, like, we call it the doggy sweater. But it's the uh, actual... Uh, walking the dog. Oh, the harness. The harness. Yeah, so. for sure. Walking the dog is also a really good good thing to do. Um, if you don't want to walk long, just letting your dog sniff around in a short distance, even if you're just on your block or cul-de-sac, just letting the dog sniff is just as much exercise for them as walking around. They yeah. get just as stimulated. So. Yeah. And the harness is the reason why I'm talking about the harness is how it's set up. It's not around the neck, and that's yeah, really a sure. big part. This is important for little dogs like poodles because they have a lot of throat issues, so we always want to use a harness for these little guys so here. I like that. Okay. Yeah. I also, too, let's remind people that they need to check the uh, ground when they're outside with their dog, too, because it's starting to get warm out there. Absolutely. You always want to touch the ground with the back of your hand. If it's too hot, it's too hot for the dog. So, so yeah, like booties it. up for sure for the puppies. Right. Okay. Some other fun ways, <laughs> I know not everybody likes to give their dogs baths, <laughs> but it's a really great way to bond with your dog and spend some time with your dog. Dogtopia has these amazing uh, new products on dogtopiashop.com with really nice flavors like pina colada. Uh, so it's nice to, you know, if you want to spend some time with your pup at home, just giving them a little pampering, it's nice to do that. You bond with your dog. If you yeah. make it like a ritual and a routine, like on a weekly or, you know, twice a month basis, it becomes something that they enjoy Yeah. versus, you know, dropping them off somewhere and then having a scary bath. So. Right. And so, and that's really great about this, as you said, bonding with them and you take, you know, your shower. So the dog needs one Absolutely. too. So it's not a bad, it's not a big chore. I hey, think it's it fun. smells nice too. Yeah. That's the other part. Your sure. dog's not going to smell like a, a dog. So yeah. Oh, I um, forgot to mention these really fun bubbles. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah let's talk about this. Cause this is, this one of the bubble things? So yeah. This, this is, is one of the little bubble machines I found. Uh, it's not on right oh, now, but yeah, I, I know, but I did bring the Dogtopia bubbles. These are our 
uh, birthday cake flavor bubbles, but we normally have uh, peanut butter and bacon flavored bubbles, which are doggy safe, as you know. Yes, <laughs> and that's what's great about having these, because then what they do is that the dog knows that they play with them at Dogtopia, yeah. so when they come home and play, they kind of like get familiar with, okay, you know what? This is how I'm supposed to act, this is how I'm supposed to be, because I'm kind of still playing. Absolutely. So, yeah. I love this. All right, so let's talk Dogtopia and dropping off. How do people, of course, uh, get into the program? Yeah, so uh, it's free to have a meet and greet at any of the Dogtopias. There's 10 across uh, the valley. And if you need to find a specific one, just go to dogtopia.com and search for your closest Dogtopia. Uh, scheduling a meet and greet is free. Anybody can schedule one, bring their dog in for an evaluation. And if all goes well, then we uh, talk about enrollment and getting the dog set up in daycare. I like it. There you go. Information is right on the screen for the Dogtopia in Tempe. Also, very quickly, you guys have a great program there for uh, giving back. Absolutely. So we partner with Canines for Warriors to give back to uh, service dog. Uh, I'm sorry, we provide service dogs for veterans in need. Yeah. Um, and Dogtopia of Tempe just uh, sponsored their first service dog, and That's we're it. halfway to our second one. So That's we're really awesome. excited about that. I like it. The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored by Dogtopia.